By 2020, half of Americans will become diabetic or pre-diabetic. It's a staggering number. Diabetes is due to the fact that you have aberrant metabolism. And your collection of metabolites, if you will, is in fact the metabolome. Metabolites are these key molecules, are the chemicals in your body that let you do all the things you do. It's the glucose, it's the ATP, it's all these things that give you energy, that let you move, that let you think, that let you digest your food. So much like a car uses gas to power itself and move, we have chemicals that do that, and it also has chemical byproducts that actually get spewed off that are the waste. Now the amazing thing is we can follow all these chemicals and try and get some understanding of people's health state. The mass spectrometer is the instrument they use when they analyze a drop of blood for certain metabolites to make sure people's metabolism is fine. But we also analyze your urine where you can look at secreted metabolites. So controlling your, your metabolite levels is very, very important. For me, it's glucose. For other people, it's cholesterol. And for others, it may be things we don't even know about yet. So we are trying to discover the whole collection of these molecules. As we follow Scott and Mark through their journey, both in space and down on Earth, we hope to see this whole collection of changes that occur as people undergo space travel. We know that some chemicals are basically indicative of high stress, and others, um, we don't know what they do yet. But by following Scott, we hope to see which stress molecules are getting activated and at which times, and what other kinds of metabolites might be happening as he travels on his journey through space, and how does it revert as he comes back to Earth. Mark will be down on Earth, and he'll be the control for this. We'll be able to compare the two and see how their changes differ and are the same. One interesting aspect of this whole study is that Scott is actually under a very defined diet. And your diet definitely controls your metabolome and all your metabolites. So we'll be able to follow which foods cause what kinds of metabolite changes and how that changes over time. And it'll be very informative to see exactly how what you eat determines what you are chemically. And so it's going to be very, very interesting to see how this all plays out. At the end of the day, metabolomics is a really important field because it actually lets us follow molecules that are very directly important for our health and it also um, is something we can control through our diet and other means.